Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome back to The Sims. As I watch Walter play with his creepy dog, Creepazoid. <laughs> Be careful, that may power him, your love, Walter. Nikki! Yes, save the child. No, don't punch him! She's like, hey, you wanna see my dance moves? Nobody wants to see that, Nikki. Nobody. How do you feel about that, Nikki? You got turned down for a creepy doll. Walter would rather hang out with a creepy doll. Our maid is trying to hit on... I think that's Oriole. Quit trying to hit on Toby's wife. Oh, what is going on here? Wait, is Nikki going to go yell at... She's going to yell at poor Tyrone again? You know, I have had enough of that. Where are you, Toby? Oh, you're too busy sleeping. Tyrone, give her a piece of her mind. The dirty dishes aren't Tyrone's fault. Are you yelling at him, Dick? Tyrone, you deserve a better life than this. Tyrone's incredibly angry because he's super tired. I don't know why he doesn't go to bed. He's got his own bed in his own little house. I think... Get out of here, flea... Cat. Well, the stupid cat... I thought the fleas were gone. Maybe it got fleas again? Maybe it picked him up from Denise? Don't you ruin that nice house. Denise, what? Wait, where are you going with Tyrone? Oh, they're going to go pillow fight in there? Denise! He's the teenager. You're, be appropriate. Oh, you're going to cry outside in the rain? That's okay. I do too. I want to do it here. It's too cold. Wait, and Dick wants to watch? Wait, what's going on here? <laughs> Maybe Dick's going to have a pillow fight? I don't know what's going on. You just let Tyrone get some rest. He's having a hard day getting bullied by idiots in the house. Well, at least Dick is nice to him. Is that his mom right there? That's his mom. That's the Centric. His best friend is the Centric in Texas? What? I didn't know they'd even hung out together. He kind of likes his daddy, kind of likes his brother. He's actually done a lot to take care of his brother. Nikki, you better not have come over here to yell at Tyrone. If she wants to listen in. Why can't I be a part of this? Maybe because you're a toxic asshole to everybody, Nikki? Maybe that's why nobody wants you around? Oh, Lexi blew up trying to do a potion. Um, could you all leave Tyrone's house? He's very tired. He needs to rest. I think the cat wants to watch the TV. I'm trying to watch the TV! No, Tyrone, you can sleep here. This is literally your bed. This bed has been set to you. Set bed ownership. I already did this in a previous episode. It's Tyrone's. Tyrone's, no, I'd rather sleep on outdoor couch in the rain. Well, you know what? You know, be your own man. What's it like to be all alone, Creepazoid? What's that like? Stop looking into my soul! <laughs> oh, I forgot I put this out in the rain! Poor Walter has to eat his soup in the rain. I'm sorry, Walter. I'd worry about the horseshoe pit, but nobody uses this damn horseshoe pit. So you're probably safe right here. I mean, I want you to be safe. I'm just a little resentful I bought these things and nobody ever uses them. Does anybody want to bring Walter in out from the... I don't think I can move that with him in it. I'm pretty sure I can't. No. Otherwise, I would bring him in myself. Alright, Walter's done with his food. Somebody want to free him? There you go, dick. Bring him inside. No, don't just stare at him! Establish dominance over the baby by staring into his eyes, letting him know who's boss. Yeah, you guys have fun. Aw, Toby's snuggling with his woman. Lexi's talking to herself for the gnome. I'm not sure what. She might have uh, taken a little bit of a blow to the head when she blew up the meth lab. 
Who's this Jeffrey James guy? Is he hitting on Denise? Go for it, man. There's a lot of people in here that could hook up. Oh, that's sweet. Tyrone is hanging out with his little brother, Walter. You want to bring him inside since none of the adults will do it? He does like, no time to bring Walter inside. It's time to gossip. Your mom's getting old. <laughs> ah, I love her still. Toby thinks Tyrone is okay. This is almost like father-son son bonding. Go away, Nikki. No one wants you around here. She's like, I like strong, muscly men. Nikki, this is awkward. They were having a family moment. The three men, Toby and his two children, Walter and Tyrone. We don't need to hear about your perverted fantasies, Nikki. Nikki's like, oh, I was a part of that conversation. Now I'm going to go yell at Denise. Is she going to yell at Denise? Oh, no, she hit her with a pillow. Maybe that's not as bad, I don't know. Oh, and Dick's making some food? That's nice of you. Oh, can we get the stupid cat wash? What's Toby doing? Toby, can you bathe that dumb cat now? Give that cat a flea bath. I don't know if Denise still has fleas. I think Denise is okay. No, give that cat a flea bath. I don't care if the cat wants... God damn it, Toby. Pick that cat up. Or can we put a flea collar on it? Customized collar and coats? Can we do something to, to take care of the flea problem? Oh, Nikki Hardman just yelled at Denise. I was a little ahead of it. See, it still happened. I'm going to scream. Toby did nothing I said to him. Instead, he's like, screw this mac and cheese, put it in the fridge. Take care of this cat. Wait, what's going on? Oh, okay, this is a whole menu? Alright, that's not what I really wanted, but we're going to give it a hard-ass collar. So it can be a badass kitty. And then maybe we'll try and give it a flea bath again? This thing's driving me mad. Okay, give a flea bath to this stupid cat. I don't want to chase this dumb cat around. There you go, Toby. Just pick it up. There you go. Oh my god, I hate this cat. Can I give it away? I am sick of this. No, just pick up... Oh my... The stupid thing has fleas. And it's gonna give everyone fleas. It already gave Denise fleas. Just drop it in the pool. Pick it up and throw it in the pool. See, he's gonna be nice to it to try and lure it, and then he's gonna get fleas too. You know what? Just screw that cat. I'm so beyond pissed at that cat right now. Let's go to the main map. Screw the <laughs> Fuck that damn cat. Not literally. Uh oh. <laughs> Nikki, are you going to heaven? What? Wait, what? <laughs> no death, leave her alone! Denise Hardman just witnessed the sight of another, or the death of another sim. Oh, please don't take her. Please stop. Please don't, no. We're all going to miss her ever so much. What could we ever do? Death can't even get at her because there's so many fat asses in the way. You're gonna regret taking her death. <laughs> oh, you think she's so nice now? Just wait till she spends eternity slapping your ass and yelling at you. Huzzah! I mean, it's so sad. They put her all in that little box. Kook, kalook, lay, what a wonderful day! The Wicked Witch is dead. Yeah, we'll move her body. We'll let her go hang out with Chuck. I don't know if that's what Chuck would have wanted, but that's what he stuck with. <laughs> don't be sad. Be happy. She died in front of the gnome. I'm sure that's the way she wanted to die. Uh, Gussie Ball is not going to be friends with Toby if he does. I don't even know Gussie. Centric's getting pretty old and won't live forever. That might be a good time to consider paying a visit to a centric. 
All right, where the hell does he live? All right, so there's where Eccentric lives. But it's the middle of the night. There's no way he's going to have us over in the middle of the night. These are the sad, realistic things that happen in life. When friends you know get older and you know they're about to depart. That sucks. Though in this case with Nikki, it wasn't so bad. Nobody's going to miss her. I'm sure somebody will cry. and Maybe she'll come back from in ghost form to haunt us. And that means there's another available bed. Good for you, Walter. A bed oh Wait, what the fuck? Last time I saw Creepazoid, he was sitting down there. I think that thing has a soul. An evil soul. Hopefully Nikki's soul doesn't inhabit it. That would explain a hell of a lot, though. You know, Toby, if you would move these damn plates, you could eat here. He's like, ah, too much work to move a plate. I'll eat outside with the dead people. He's thinking about Nikki as he eats. Oh, her body's right there. This is some good mac and cheese I got from the fridge that Dick made. If I remember, I'll go visit Eccentric in the morning. What's that noise? Chuck's back. Was the afterlife too bad for you, Chuck? What, what the hell was that new music about? Unless that was Chuck's music. <laughs> Chuck's like, oh shit, Nikki's here in the afterlife with me. I'm going back to the land of the living. Oh man, I'll even do some work. Can I join the house again? I'll be responsible, I swear. You gonna read? Oh, anything to get away from Nikki. Oh, it's so relaxing here. Might just take a little ghost nap. Just don't get your ectoplasm goo everywhere. No, he's gonna go play video games. You let Tyrone sleep. Tyrone is exhausted. He's been taking care of his little brother, and he's dreaming of the cops, so wait until your dad finds out about that. Toby, no wait, Toby's gonna go play video games. That wasn't Chuck at all. <laughs> Toby, let your son sleep. Yeah, who cares? I got video games. I'm gonna play some Driver. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be badass. Dad, I'm trying to sleep. I got school in the morning. School is for losers. <laughs> Did I ever tell you how I used to be a getaway driver? Not now, Dad. Oh, he said Nikki was died. Nikki sometimes talked to me. I'm like you, Dad. We talked once. I'm gonna play Madden now and swear a lot. Stupid bitch fucks. Catch the ball. Why can't they program a good game? Th does no one at EA realize physics exists? It's because some moron on the board there or an executive was like, everything's gotta be on the Frostbite engine? How about an engine that gives a shit about physics and is easy to iterate? Tyrone's like, no. Wait, actually, that does compute. Come on, you wanna play some football, kiddo? Fuck school. Oh, wait, you wanna play Tony Hawk? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Father-son bonding moment. It's almost something healthy this happened in the household. This should be the only screenshot I ever show. Delete every other Sims video. The LP was all a wholesome family affair. Speaking of which, where's this whore of a wife? She went to work for once! She hasn't been to work for like months! <laughs> Doing her Is she crying at work? Doing her job as a thug? Oh, she's crying about Nikki. So she's gonna like mug somebody as she's crying? Why are you crying? Oh, I lost a friend today. That's okay. It's okay. Can I have my wallet back? No, I'll stab you. Then you'll die like my friend Nikki. Who's this? Patricia? Well, you know what, Eccentric? We might not be able to make it to your house before you die. Because we were busy playing football. I'm sure you'll understand. <laughs> you know, when there's football around. It's alright, Tyrone. You can sleep another day. It's always time for football. I'm watching you, you creepy little Zoid doll. I'm on to you. Oh, we gotta call someone to repair that computer again. You know, this computer has been such a piece of junk. You leave it out in the rain and it just breaks. Very disappointing. Wait, there's a phone call. Oral Bush wants to know if Oriel would like to go on a date. No, Oriel's married. Lexi's angry because she's hungry. Tyrone finally gave up on 
playing video games. It's like, oh, Nikki. Yep, you pass by your kind of friend. <gasps> Tyrone's gonna spend time with his other son. Tyrone's becoming a good father. Spending time with both of his boys? Where are you going? Oh, you're gonna feed him? Sorry, you gotta eat in the rain, kiddo, in the middle of fall. It's only like 48 degrees outside. But otherwise, I'd have to put the chair back in the house. And that would be a me problem. Instead, this is a you problem. <laughs> Do we have any more mail to get? What's going on in that mail? I want to see. Any more creepy... Oh, it's a package! There's a letter for Toby from Cheyenne Fox. It says, um, I'm not so great at writing... She keeps trying to get his dick. No. Lexi got a gift in the mail from Eccentric. The note attached to it reads, I was thinking of you and thought you might like this. Call me. I am going to pause the video a moment. This is very interesting. Not that long ago, Eccentric's like trying to get with Nikki. Then that date went mediocre, and either he's like, I want someone else, and Lexi's a step up. She's a big step up. Or Eccentric is like, yeah, my time's running out, and that other lady's dead. Can I still get that pootie tang? Oh, another letter from Cheyenne Fox for Toby. Man, she's pretty desperate. There's a letter for Lexi from Elias Lovelace that wants to get with him. Oh, that's our stupid mate, I think. Another letter from Cheyenne to Toby. She's just a little desperate. Toby, where did you go? You left your child outside in the rain. Oh, you're busy playing with that flea cat? Oh, can you give it a bath now? Does it need a bath? No, its fleas must be gone. It's in the morning. In the morning. Son, no matter what you do, you gotta remember to be an evil crime lord, and you can't count on luck. Uh-oh, Tyrone's unhappy. Must be because he's a teenager, not because he has any legitimate opinions. Nikki used to always like manly, muscular men, Dad. <laughs> I don't want to hear about that bitch in my house. I don't hear about diamonds and jewels, the evil things we can get, Tyrone. Don't you care about wealth? Oh, it's fall festival time. Nobody cares. As people go to work and stuff, we have something more important to do. So, let's go to the Bush household. Let's visit the Bush household with everybody that can come. Because the... Apparently, Eccentric's getting old. Hey, Eccentric, I heard you're gonna die soon. I'm gonna bring my whole family over to gawk at you. Is that okay? Oldie, are you in there? Hello? Eccentric? <laughs> well, we're trying to go, but we're waiting for a flea cat to get in. I'm sure Eccentric's gonna... Ex Appreciate that as we all come over. <laughs> come on, flea cat. Are you going to get in the damn car or not? We're going to quit whining about Nikki. She's dead. Get over it. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. That kind of shit. Okay, don't come with us then. Denise, are you coming to say goodbye to Eccentric? It's okay to skip school, Tyrone. We're gonna visit your best friend, Eccentric, in Texas. Who are you, little kid? You can come to- Oh, that's the paper boy. Who are we waiting on? At this rate, Eccentric is gonna die before we get there. Finally, okay. <laughs> We'd literally been waiting there for what felt like it might have been hours. I guess those guys were leaving work so they could come visit Eccentric. Come on, we're gonna say goodbye to Tyrone's best friend and someone who dated Nikki. Is this how we're gonna tell him Nikki died? Hey, you remember when you dated Nikki? Yeah, she's dead. What? Oh, maybe you should sit down or something. She was kind of a bitch. I dated her. 
I think he's over it though. He was sending Lexi gifts. Is this bunny suit? Yeah, I recognize that bunny booty. Hey, Eccentric, we're here. Let us in. Oh, we're making a show because everyone's sad about Nikki. I don't know why. Tyrone's thinking about some bag head? Some guy with a bag over his head? A Lions fan? Oreo, don't fight that raccoon. That's how you get rabies. Oh, they're friends. Okay. That's how you also do how you get rabies. You are in big trouble, young man. You better not do that again. Wait. Toby's yelling at Tyrone? Maybe you should help around the house to get out my good side. No, Tyrone's... Wait, where are you all going? Are you all abandoning Tyrone here like you did on his birthday at the cemetery? We were here to visit Eccentric. I'm sorry, Tyro. <laughs> Eccentric and Bunny Suit. Eccentric's gonna be like, did I just hear a bunch of people crying outside? And Bunny Suit's, yeah, I saw our weird neighbors. Are they gonna come and say hi? I told them I wasn't feeling well. I think they just left. <laughs> Tyro wouldn't do that to me. Alright, it took me a while. I got everybody here. How do we knock on the door? Go inside. Visit the visit the household. We're at the household. Let's go visit them. I can see them inside. There's Oral and there's Bunny Suit. Can we come in? Can we come in? Return stolen item. That means Toby stole something from them at some point. Can we come inside? It's raining outside. Please, please, can we come in? We want to say goodbye to- No! Eccentric's already died! You can see him in the window! <laughs> Toby's dinging on the doorbell, let us in! No, I see him! Come back, Eccentric! We came to sing it! Oh my god. Eccentric's gonna be like, why are my friends such shitheads? If they hadn't sat in the cab forever, they could have said goodbye. <laughs> Instead, now we're too late. There goes Eccentric. R.I.P. Eccentric. Well, that was a fail and a half. Eccentric Texas has passed on. Old age inevitably comes for each sim. But what's important is they lived a full life. Oh, now Bunny Suit opens the door. Hi, Bunny Suit. We're here to see Eccentric. Oh, no, he's dead. He's dead. Where's his corpse? Can we steal that and take it home? Toby's like, oh, man. You see, I, I meant to get here on time, but my family's a bunch of idiots, and then I was mad at my child for no good reason. Hi, Oral. Oral, tell him how to be a good father. Oh, here comes the flea cat, which I don't think is fleas anymore, so I think they're fine. Oh, and here's little Walter. It's gonna be most sad for Tyrone. Because he was really good friends with Eccentric. He is pretty torn up about it. He's very depressed. He's at home cleaning up the mess again. Are dead people still on his friends list? I don't think so. No, I think they only are when they show up in ghost form. Tough day for Tyrone. Because he got along with Nikki. She was shitty, but he got along with her. Which is sad for him. Eccentric was one of his best friends. I miss that friendship being formed. And Eccentric died too. Poor Tyrone. He deserves better. Oops, and now I'm peeking at him when he peed. Wait, and Lexi got demoted? What? She's great at her job. What, is it because she missed one day to visit a friend who was dying? My friend's dying. You're demoted. You never get to leave work. Well, you know what, Toby, for old time's sake, you had to take a shit on that toilet. Like that party way back when where Bunny Suit didn't want you to. You finally get it. Eccentric didn't die in vain. We can finally poop in peace. What a sad, sad time. I'll see y'all next time.